The final wine we're working with is the Grand Estates mm. Cabernet Sauvignon from Columbia Crest. The richness of the short rib and the earthiness of the parsnips will pair really well with the dark berry and plum aromas from the wine. I love making short ribs for the holidays. It's like a showstopper. Yeah, right? beautiful. You gotta bring it on home at the end, mm. give everybody what they came for. To me, nothing screams the holidays in wintertime. We're starting right. to braise, different cooking method, and short ribs, you can just tell by this beautiful meat right here. You can see all the marbling, which is all the fat. You can see all the tendons in there. You wanna season these up with salt and pepper, right? Just like we did here. And you see how nicely brown these are? Color this is equals probably... flavor in food. So don't crowd the pan when you're browning your meats. I was just gonna say, this is probably yep. the most important step when you're braising something. Really take your time and absolutely caramelize all edges, not just the top and bottom. Season them well. And then we have some onions, garlic, your traditional mirepoix, some celery in there. And then take the short ribs. Like she said, don't overcrowd the pan. If you need a couple different pots at the same time, you can. Put what you think yeah, is just right. Brown them in stages. Brown a few at a time, let the pot get hot again, add a little more oil, and then keep going. Then we're gonna add a little bit of soy. We're gonna add some chicken stock to cover. We got a little bit of, throw some fresh herbs in there. Ginger, Give me some, of that, going yep. with some Give ginger. me some of that ginger in there. Get some ginger down in there. Hey, it would be a soy braised ginger short rib without a little bit of soy, mm. a little bit of ginger. So it's soy, and this was rice vinegar, yep. right? And so what a, a nice bit of blend. Salt and pepper goes a long S &P. way. SP. Most importantly, bring it up to a nice simmer. Don't boil it, cover it. Slow cook it. And if you want to go slow out, cooking. you can throw that in the oven too, right? Nice 100%. slow oven. Yeah. These pots are actually great for putting them in the oven. It's like your own Dutch oven. Beautiful. Then what we did here on the side. Oh, that's gorgeous. We did a little rich and creamy. Parsnip puree. Oh, parsnip puree. Yep. Fabulous. We're gonna plate this up a little bit. I love parsnips. My friend Emily describes them as a carrot with a bit of an attitude, and I think that's so perfect. I've never heard that, but I will be, using, I will be using that line sometimes. Look at that, just a puddle of deliciousness. A puddle of your parsnip puree, say yep. that 10 times fast. Take a little bit of this green apple. Yeah. Shave it carefully on that mandolin. We're gonna do like a little green apple slaw over the top with some fresh herbs. Okay, very carefully, because these are nice and tender, and you really want them to fall apart right off the bone, is what you're looking for. Beautiful, That's good. look at that. A little bit of sauce right over the top. I don't know how top. much apple you need, just a bit. A little you bit. want some fresh herbs? Fresh herbs. Beautiful. I'm gonna you want some head? You want julienne? Sorry, buddy, that's the setting they have. Okay. Like a little slaw, a little green apple slaw. I see. Fresh herbs. I didn't know that's where you that's were all going. Right, that's all right. Beautiful. We're gonna end up in the same place olive no matter oil. what. Horseradish. A little bit of olive oil. Yep. Horseradish in there. A little bit of lime. A little bit of citrus. Cuts through everything. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. Give that a little mix. Give that a little toss. Yep. I'm gonna wipe my plate a little bit, just like at a fancy restaurant. Pile them up Boom. on top. Boom. Isn't that pretty? Nice. And then pour a nice glass of the cab to go with it. Gorgeous. Tis the season, everybody. Beautiful. Thanksgiving is around the corner. Yes. Beautiful day. Um, again, thank you so much. And thank you to our friends at Saint Michel. These are beautiful wines. Cheers to them. Cheers, Cheers to, to you. you. And be sure to check out Josh's restaurants next time you're in town, too.